Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my YouTube channel. I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to talk about stationary and ADF test. According to Wikipedia, stationary is a stochastic process whose unconditional joint probability distribution does not change when shifted in time. Consequently, parameters such as mean and variance do not change over time. This is first order autoregress model. When a1 equals 1, we say there is a unit root. It means that it's not a stationary time series data. So it is non-stationary time series. I have prepared three types of fictitious data. In our program, we can test stationary by using adf.test function. So type 1 data and type 3 data show very low p-value. It means that we can reject null hypothesis and we can accept alternative hypothesis. It means that it is a stationary data, right? But for type 2, as you can see, p-value is very high. So it means that uh, we can uh, accept null hypothesis. It means that it is non-stationary data. Yeah, as you can see, it, is, it shows upward uh, trend. In our program, we can have three types of ADF test if you use ur.df in urca library. So if you specify type as none, you can see tau1. If you specify type as drift, you can get tau2 and phi1. And if you specify type as trend, you can get this one. So again, in Wikipedia, as you can see, there are three types of uh, ADF test. So tau1 is from this model and tau2 is from this model. So uh, in econometrics, uh, its name is drift, but in traditional statistics, we name it as intercept, as you know. The third case is uh, uh, tau3 and with pi2 and pi3. So in our program, it provides critical values for test statistics. So this tau3 is from this uh, Monte Carlo estimate simulation. I couldn't find phi2, phi3 table. So please let me know if you uh, have it, then uh, I will upload it anyway. So in our program, as you can see, uh, uh, there are two common ways we can do ADF test. Typically, we use ADF.test function, then you can get this one. So if you do not specify uh, leg order, so it automatically uh, calculates uh, leg order by using this formula. So in this case, type 1 data has uh, leg order as 2. So if you specify k as 2, you can get this result. In URDF function, yeah, uh, if you specify type as trend and leg as 2, then you can get this result. So this uh, test statistic is lower than uh, this one, 5%. So considering 5% significance level, we can uh, reject null hypothesis. All right. So as you can see, we were able to see this data, this regression results. So this actual tau value is from this, this one. So let me show you how to calculate this one. So again, uh, difference is uh, just leg one. And leg one data is from original data and time. And leg one difference, which is from, uh, from column F. And leg 2 difference from, again, uh, difference with uh, this one. Right. So you can use Excel function. Go to Data tab and click Data Analysis. And choose Regression. And Y range from this one. Column E. And X range from column F to column I.
prime. So as you can see, this tau value, tau 3, is from this one. Okay, This regression analysis. So uh, this p-value is actually from uh, ordinary least scale regression. Yeah, but we, uh, uh, typically we use this critical, uh, I mean, value table for test statistics. So if test statistic is considering 5% uh, significance level, if this test statistic is lower than this one, then we can reject null hypothesis. So it means that it has uh, stationary data, stationary process. I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, stationary and ADF tests. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.